Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker Kentucky Burgoo stew. <laughs> Okay, I'm starting out in my six quart electric pressure cooker that I have preheating. And I'm going to get a little bit of olive oil down in there. About two or three tablespoons. And I have a pound and a half of top brown steak I cut into stew sized pieces. I'm going to get them in here and I'm going to brown them. And I'm going to season with salt and pepper as they brown. Okay, now that my beef cubes are browned up, you see I put off a lot of nice juice. I'm going to leave that in there because that's going to be out of flavor. I have roughly a pound and a half boneless, skinless chicken breast I diced in the stew chunk sizes. We're going to get that in there. And there's no need to brown that ahead of time. Alright, I have a small head of cabbage I shredded up. That's going in. A large onion I diced up. Okay, now I'm going to add in two cups of beef broth. I have this left over from the other day when I did a recipe. Put it down in there. I'm also going to add in a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce, and I'm just eyeballing this, guys. All right, I have six russet potatoes I peeled and I diced up. Let me drain the water from them. Add them in there. I have a 15 and a quarter ounce can of corn. I'm going to add that in, liquid and all. I have a 14 and a half ounce can of stewed tomatoes. They're going in, juice and all. A eight ounce can of tomato sauce. This calls for lima beans, but I could not for the life of me find canned lima beans at the store. I went to different stores, all these, and at Walmart, so I'm throwing in cannelli beans that I rinsed, drained and rinsed. We're just going to substitute those. Okay, now I'm going to give this a stir. And this looks like a lot, but that cabbage will cook down as this cooks. And I cut my potatoes big enough that they'll hold up for the pressure cooker time that this takes. I'm going to add a little more salt in there, guys. A little more pepper. Alright, I'm going to seal my lid on here. Grab a hold of that. Make sure we're set on airtight. And I'm going to pressure set this pressure cook for 10 minutes and then I'm going to allow it to do a natural release. Okay, my 10 minutes is up, guys. As you can see, this made a mess of stew. I'm going to finish this up. I added a little more salt to it, about a tablespoon. I didn't want to taste it while the chicken was still raw in there. That's why I waited until it was done. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. About a quarter of a teaspoon. This will give it a little kick. You don't have to do this, but that's what it calls for. Okay, this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a bowl and see what we got. Okay, guys, let me get in here and get a taste of this. Start by getting a taste of that beef. Mmm. Fall apart tender. A piece of that chicken. Nice and tender. And this uh kind of reminds me of vegetable soup. It has a really good flavor though. See my potatoes, they're soft, but they still held up. They're not mush. They won't have a taste. Okay, there you have it. Pressure Cooker Kentucky Burgoo Stew. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and Happy Halloween.